Hi, I'm Carson from Guys With Games, and today's game is Sticky Ball Golf. I like golf personally, and I wanted to introduce the concept and um, some of the vocabulary to my kids in the classroom, but in a way that doesn't involve hitting balls around uh, and potentially injuring someone. So what I decided to do was make a version of it in which we can use a sticky ball. And so how do you play? You need to first draw this on the board. So it's a, it's a golf hole. It's a hole of golf. And you have a green and the cup here. You want to try to get it right into here. <clears throat> but then here is the fairway in golf. That's kind of like the, the grass, where you, the short grass where you can use an iron to hit from. Then the rough, which is in golf, is the taller, thicker grass, which is much harder to hit from. And then in golf, you're always going to start in the tee box. So <clears throat> in the physical classroom, I'm going to draw lines on the floor and label those lines a, the closest line, B, further away, C, much further away, and D. Basically, the farthest you can get from the whiteboard itself will be D. And we start the student, one at a time, at D. So that's the tee box. And he or she is going to throw a sticky ball and aim for this. They want to get a hole in one. So throw the ball to here. So let's have a student stand up and Give it a go. Let's see how well you do. Okay, wow, very good. Okay, so this student in one shot gets to come all the way up to stand at A and take his second shot. Oh no. Ooh. So that's two, three, four. Okay, four. So. Another thing that you're going to have to tell the students if they don't know how golf works is that a higher score is actually worse. They want as low a score as they possibly can get. And so in that example, Dustin took four shots to get there. Now, after he goes, then I would choose someone else on the other team and then they would play and we would add up everybody's score and find a team which wins. And so the losing team needs to kind of stand up and ask one of the winners a question that they've learned recently, just to practice something that we've been learning and also how to ask and answer questions. But this is how you play sticky ball golf. Something I would warn you guys as teachers to uh, say right away to students is that there's going to be a limit. Just like in real golf, well, anyway, like amateur golf, like we play, if I hit the ball too many times, my turn is just finished because you will have a student who thinks it's funny to just keep throwing it here, keep throwing it here, keep throwing it here, keep throwing it here, and then he or she gets a laugh out of the rest of the students, but the game would continue indefinitely. So you need to make an upper limit, but I, and I usually play maybe seven. Seven is the most times that you could throw the sticky ball and try to win. But, okay, so just a few more examples. If someone throws it first to the green, they stand at line A, but if they were to miss and then go to B, then they need to go back, back a step, back into that line and throw from B, and then try to hit the thing. Okay, finally I got it, and whatever my score was. That's how you play sticky ball golf.